Hi guys, my name is Mohammad Shehzad and uh, today another uh, I'm here with another video for data analysis how we can import uh, .pcap files which have a dummy data like uh, for uh, uh, attacks and uh, trojans and torrents and blah 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 it's automatically installed with the squirty onion these files you can use that files to bring into SQL, Squirt and Kibana to do and data analysis. So this is not a real time data, but it's available for the analysis. So you can start your uh, investigation from these files. So, OK, uh, we will go uh, to start this uh, importing before uh, going to import these files. Uh, if you are new on my channel, kindly subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. Okay, so let's go and do some things. I, uh, as you know, we are running our Squirty Onion on a on a virtual box, and I have my one uh, snapshot here. So I restored now back to fresh machine. So it's uh, like a fresh install. So I will just go back and start this machine. So we can start, and then we will see how we can import that pcap files. So my machine is restoring see uh, it's restoring now so i will close after this restore so before importing the files uh, this one is i would like to say must disconnect your live interfaces which is going to connect your internet and other things so it's better to uh, stop these one because uh, we would like to uh, use a replay so we will replay the packet so we don't want to uh, go this packet to into the your live or uh, your office network so when you are going to practice these pcap files uh, kindly uh, must disconnect your all live interfaces and uh, secondly uh, one more thing i would like to do because Scotty onion as you know we have two interfaces one is management and one is our uh, data collection so another for safe side i will do the go into devices and in the network and I will disconnect my management the uh, network adapter I will disable so if you see it's all it's, it's disabled now so it's better for the safe side because we are re replaying that packets so let's go let's go and start and before starting uh, this importing uh, importing a pcap files uh, I would like to say this is only for educational purposes and uh, only for uh, labs uh, lab studies and uh, only for your own environment so keep in mind do not use it in the live and other other environments which is not your property and you are not doing any uh, which which could bring us a uh, illegal activity okay anyway so let's go and start uh, we will first you saw we have our uh squeal is if i want if you want i can show you the squeal here so double click and we can see there is nothing right now after installation will have nothing so if we go here choose our interface keep in mind you must you need a, this interface name also for replaying the packets so ENP 0s8 so we'll use this one because it's our monitoring interface so starts well so see as of now we don't have any data in this well so I will open my uh, application and if we go here we'll come here in the terminal I'll open my terminal so my terminal here on the side if you see I have a terminal here I'll make it a little bigger so you guys can see where so see right now we don't have any data and our agents are running and we need some data uh, so we can see that uh, we can do analysis on that see all my uh, agents are running and status is up so I'll do it a little back here again so let's go in the terminal so here first you have to go into your uh, cd slash opt slash sample if you go on this location and hit enter and then do ls and you will find some example pcaps which is already installed with the same uh, operating system the squirty onion os so you can see here all the pcap files so you want them to come into the swale as a package uh, the alerts so we can do uh, 
analysis on that data. So what you will do, you have to put one command, like obviously this is sudo command, and make sure again you have turned off your uh, live interfaces, like this one, and which which uh, which could make any trouble. So it's better to double check again. Okay, so we will do sudo. After that, we will do TCP replay. TCP replay is a command which is uh, like. Uh, TCP packets are replaying. It's replaying the TCP packet again from which now we will give an interface. So we are asking replay the packets. Uh, these the packets on which interface I will put dash i space and here I will give uh, my interface. And if you see, I showed you that interface, my monitoring interface, not a management, my monitoring because management we already disabled. So my monitoring interface is. ENP zero S eight. So this is my monitoring interface, and as as you know, we are running on a virtual box. So our virtual network limit is like I don't want to mess up my LAN card also. So next, I will specify the speed on my this interface uh, to importing speed. So I will do dash M capital, and I will give five only. Five megabit per second. Uh, important space. Put star and dot, and then give a p cap. So this is the command. Uh, note it down. And uh, it, what it will do? It will replay the packets from p cap file here, and then uh, give us some data in this will. So as soon as I will hit enter, it will ask me for a sudo password confirmation. So we'll do enter, and it will start importing. See on the back, my swill is getting data packets now. So it will take little time. Some files will give errors, so no issues. So at least we will have enough data to do data analysis on that uh, uh, alerts which we received. So it will take. Uh, Little time and see here it it gives us a summary, and its uh, processed file is told us this is file is processed and attempting packets are this one, uh, replayed and successfully this one and 444 are failed. So no issue. This is okay for us. And now I can close my uh, terminal. So we can see here detail. We have a lot of packets here. And uh, these are the uh, enough packets uh, for us in the security onion to analysis uh, the data analysis. If you go down, see like this, we have enough packets. So see, there is different uh, like here is four count for this one. It's like a Trojan uh, download activity. Somebody downloaded Trojan and user agent suspicious user uh, user agents uh, Trojan download and uh, Windows file. HTTP. These are all the data which is uh, like a threats on our network, and uh, we can do analysis on that. And here you see possible torrent downloads. Some of our users they are downloading torrents and other things. So we can check also this one. So if I mini minimize this one, it's a swill. In the swill, see we have a data. And if you go back to squirt, here is a squirt. If I go here in my squirt. Will take a little time because the graphical interface of Squirrel. So in the skirt, we'll proceed here. Okay, and see we all all the packets also here for our analysis. You can do it's, it's pretty uh, much data to do an, uh, data analysis and see our priorities like twenty seven percent high. And uh, medium, and then our low, and uh, some others. So you can do an, uh, intervals and check the days. You can do ungrouping and uh, refresh, and it will give you all the groups will be into a single file, and you will have uh, IDs and see all that. This is uh, XZ DLL file downloaded, 
say if against the policy so these are the dummy data which you can uh, check and do analysis on that and these kind of uh, attacks possibly coming on the networks so you can do analysis if you don't have uh, other data at home so for practice in a security so if we see on a kibana kibana it will give us the uh, that data see 4927 back so these are the full data if we see here and if we come down to see we have uh, enough data to do data analysis see uh, here is like nids alert counts 242 and then 366 uh, other log counts so these are the enough uh, things to do practice on that and there's the all data available here and next pages if you go next next you can do enough so you can see how uh, security onion is powerful and we can have uh, analysis on this data so this was the video today uh, hopefully you like it if you like my video kindly uh, click on like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, take care bye bye see you